evening. I'm Christy Casciano. And I'm Jeff Kulikowski. We start with a <laughs> big story. Just six weeks old, these miraculous baby elephant twins are already leaving a large imprint on the heart of central New York. They sure are. And tonight, News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan is giving you a rare behind-the-scenes look at how the duo is cared for at the Roseman Gifford Zoo. Look, come on, buddy. At 2 o'clock, everyone visiting the Rosamond Gifford Zoo knows exactly where to be. Is that kind of a new level of interest in the elephants? The elephants have always been a big draw here, but the amount of attendance we've had, especially in this off-season where it's a little bit cooler here and most people actually think the zoo is closed, has been incredible. Given the all clear, the zookeepers let out the three generation elephant herd. Targa, brought here in 1990, her daughter Molly, born in 1997, and her twin boys. So this is who? This is Yad. And here comes Tukata now. So Yad has a little bit of a tight kink at the end of his tail, where Tukata has a slower turn at the end of his tail. Not only can elephant collections manager Ashley Shepard tell them apart. Okay, bud. There you go. Stay in there. She can handle the double trouble. Hey, 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 hey. Nope. Being small enough to fit through the fence won't be a problem for long. They're gaining weight every single day, which is wonderful. Uh, they're doing all the things they're supposed to be doing now, learning how to be elephants, playing with their surroundings, exploring. All of that stuff tells us they're doing great. Great was no guarantee with twins. Usually one of the casts is either stillborn or both are stillborn. You kind of get rarer than this. He would know curator Dan Meats, a native of Wales, has worked for zoos all over the world. Everybody's in shock. Where even still takes us away that each time you look down, you're like this too. It's no overstatement to call the survival of both a miracle. The few successful cases have only happened in Asia and Africa, never before in Europe or North America. We've heard from San Diego, we've heard from Houston, Pittsburgh, the Bronx, um, Toledo, a group uh, from a couple different zoos are going to, they're, they're even thinking about getting a bus to come. You're looking down to see the uterus. An unexpected response to an unexpected double delivery. Cornell's Dr. Rebecca Eddy shows us sonograms from Molly's pregnancy. Even with her trained eye, elephant fetuses are so big, it's impossible to see both at the same time. We go through numerous drills before the birth, too, just to make sure that we're ready for any scenario that is thrown at us. Is the birth of twins one of the scenarios? No. <laughs> no, it's not. Yad was born first in the early morning of October 24th. Vets and keepers then waited for his placenta, valuable for research. Nine hours later? Uh, rear feet. <laughs> And Ashley called and said, um, there's a second calf. And I said, yeah, OK. By the time zoo director Ted Fox got to the barn, veterinarians were trying to save the second baby's life. Tukata had trouble breathing, a low heart rate and low temperature. It took an oxygen tube and 40 minutes to stabilize him and reintroduce him to mom. She's a very protective mother. But this time, she took it to a new level. She's very protective of these babies. She's constantly watching the two of them. She guides them. My staff and myself have been watching them and note-taking literally every move they make. How many times are they nursing? Are they napping? What are they doing with each other? What are they doing with the other elephants that are around them? So that we can give all that information to someone else when they are met with this challenge. The challenge isn't over, considering the tricky birth, the natural vulnerability of twins, and experience from past elephant deaths. But there's already cause for celebration, felt in every corner of the zoo. Stopping by the cafe, there's a cookie. And the gift shop, elephants are the best seller. We couldn't find a, a plush that had two baby elephants with the mother, so they've actually contacted a manufacturer that's, a, that's doing a custom order for us with a mom elephant and two babies that'll be coming soon. But it's the real life babies that everyone's talking about. I'd encourage everybody to come see these as often as possible because every day they're learning new things and being different, so it's, it's, it's just great. At a time when miracles seem hard to come by, the world is finding two at the Rosamond Gifford Zoo. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. I can't watch this all day, okay? <laughs> Acting just like twins right there. Yeah. More of Andrew's rare access to the twin elephants at the zoo, including why zookeepers are hesitant to overly celebrate. That's tomorrow right here on News Channel 9 at 530.